Bonjour, my name is Mathieu. In this episode, I show you how you can use brushes in Photoshop to add some clouds. Bonjour, my name is Mathieu. My name is Serge Ramli. I'm a French photographer from the amazing city of Paris, France, and I'm making two tutorials per week in 2019 every Tuesday and every Friday. So make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the little bell so you get a notification every time I do one. Now in this episode, I'm gonna give you some really nice cloud brushes. To get them, the link is below this video and I'm gonna show you how you can just add some clouds to take your photo to the next level. All right guys, so let me show you how you can use brushes in Photoshop to just add a little bit of clouds to you know, add a little je ne sais quoi in your photo, make them a little extra. So here is a photo I shot last month in New York City, the top of the rock view of the Empire State Building. I love it. So let me do some retouching on it first. I'm gonna open up the shadows. I'm gonna bring down the highlights. I'm gonna do my black point. I'm gonna do my white point. Uh, go uh, to shade to have like a much warmer, uh, you know, much warmer look to it. Uh, there is a sensor dust here I want to get rid of. Maybe, you know, boost a little bit the vibrant. And um, I think on this one I want to, you know, do it for Instagram. So I'm going to go 4x5. Uh, also put the Empire State Building right on the rule of third. Something like this. No, I actually don't like it. Don't like it at all. So uh, let's see if I go much further. Like this. Nah. Now, you know what? I'm just going to go 4 by 5 like that. Yes. So I kind of like that, but I wish it would be a little bit more cloud. It's kind of empty for me, so I'm going to right-click, edit, edit into Adobe Photoshop CC 2019. And uh, I'm going to give you this brush. Now, this brush, you have to install them first. So first, you have to download them. Under the video, all you have to do is click the first link that's right under the video, and then you put in your email address. You click on sign up for free and then you have to enter your name, uh, first name, last name, create a password and boom, it takes you in the library and you can just click here, view, and then you can download the source files. So that was for my last video, but it's going to be the same thing for this video. Once you have downloaded the brush, uh, all you have to do to install them is that's the file 2019 clouds free brushes. You double click on it and that's it. And it's going to be in your Photoshop. So how do we use it? Well, first let's create an empty layer that we will call clouds. Crazy. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a color here uh, of my cloud. So I'm going to click here. And on this one, I'm just going to put my mouse over the, you know, the photo and find some like high yellow or something like this. Press OK. All right, and then I'm gonna go here and all the way down, you should see the free clouds 2019 that you just installed. Now, what's very important is you go here, you have to make sure that brush name, brush stroke, and brush tip is, is marked because this way you, you will be able to see them better. Uh, you can even make it much larger like this. So it takes the whole screen. And with this setup, you can see what the cloud is going to look like as one single brush stroke and what it's going to look like with multiple brush stroke. Okay. So for this one, uh, we're going to be using, I think I want to use this one. This was, this is just one sky. And so the way it works is you just got one sky, but to make it work well, you first have to make it the biggest possible. This is a 7,000 pixel, uh, you know, photo. It's really big. So I'm going to press the control and option key and make my brush 5,000 pixel, which is the biggest. Okay. And then I'm going to press and click one time and boom, it's going to add some cloud. But at first it looks kind of weird. So the next thing you have to do is go to edit and you go to free transform or control T and then you hold down the shift key on your keyboard. And as you hold the shift key, you can just position it exactly how you want. You can even right click and flip vertical if you want to change it. Uh, actually, it might work better this way. And if you don't hold the shift key, it's going to scale evenly everywhere. If you hold on the shift key, uh, you basically scale it exactly how you want on each side. Okay, I'm going to put this a little over the horizon. And then, of course, to make it believable, we need to uh, add a mask. 
we go back here in the brush and we go all the way up and take a soft rounded brush okay once we have that we don't have to make it so big make sure the opacity is 100 which we should have should have told you to watch for that make sure black is your foreground color so x and if you have like weird colors let's say uh let me show you let's say you have like red as a foreground color and uh, you got like green as a background color you're like oh what can i do well you can just press d and they're going to come back as white as foreground black as background you press x to have black and now black conceals and white reveals so now i can brush really quick and just make it bland and now we added just a little bit of texture you know to add uh, something nice in the sky all right let's go back to lightroom and do the next photo uh this one is i really like that photo that's like a lonely tree so i'm gonna open up the shadows uh not bring down so much the highlights maybe do the white point i want to change the white balance make it much warmer something like this maybe a little brighter i also got a little sensor dust you know just a basic retouching but i was like oh man i wish i had a cloud just one nice cloud there and that was like the inspiration for this tutorial so edit photoshop cc 2019 and here we are so i'm going to add a layer for the clouds i'm going to call it clouds now on this one i know which one i want to use but I, i'm going to choose some other ones it doesn't always work like let's say i take this one this is a big cloud so same thing when you want to add a big cloud you do a diameter of 5000 pixel and you click one time okay and this one sort of doesn't match you know i of course of course do a control t or whatever but this could become very any don't forget command t you hold on the shift key you put it how you want it you know i mean i, I could make this one work you know but i and press enter and then you know do a mask take your brush go back and take the soft rounded brush and uh, make sure black is your foreground color and just blend this you know blend this here we go on the photo that is not the effect i was looking for but it it's pretty cool i think it would look nicer if you just had uh one single cloud so i'm gonna undo that create a new thing called clouds and let's go through and see what else we got here uh yeah, I think the one I want to use is this one, but I'm going to show some other one. This one is kind of cool. This one you can just uh, basically spray around. And, you know, just add some clouds like this. That's kind of cool one. Command Z to undo. Command Z to undo. Uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, this one is cool, but I don't think it's going to work. Just like a little bunch of small clouds. You can just click one time and just have some. Ah, it could work. Maybe if I made it bigger or something, uh, you know, maybe it could work. Let's see here. So when you don't hold on the shift key, it just proportionally makes them bigger. If you hold on the shift key, you can change the shape of your clouds. It's kind of cool. And you can always, you know, lower the opacity so it's like less present, you know. That could be cool. It's not what I wanted to do, so Command Z to undo. Or you can press Command A and delete to delete that layer. Okay, let's see else. what else am I giving you here this morning. Well, okay, the one I really want to use, I'm going to show you is this one one nice cloud actually let me make sure i got the right color i want to use this color yes okay and boom i just wanted to have one nice cloud up there and again i can make it bigger if i want to with command t uh like this so up you know make one big cloud if, i thought it was cool to have like one big cloud and you can always lower the opacity if you want to make it less present but i think i like it that it's very present like this uh, it just makes the photo really cool so voila i'm giving you all these uh, little brushes and of clouds you can put in your own photo it's very easy to use it's a great way to learn photoshop and uh, it works with any version of photoshop which is really cool thank you so much for following this tutorial and i'm doing this challenge of two videos per week don't forget to sign up on my youtube channel click the subscribe button uh, you know, click the little bell so you get a notification every time I do this video. And please, if you like this video, just give it a little love. Click the like button. It really helps me. It encourages me to give you free stuff every week, two videos per week. It's crazy.